Hello, I'm Andrea Cantelli and in this tutorial I want to show you how to model a pillow in Maya without using any cloth simulation at all. We are going to use uh, the traditional hand modeling uh, with polygons and the pillow that we are going to model is this one. Now I'll change the design a little bit because this is quite boring. So let's get started. One of the best way to model fabrics like pillow is uh, to start out with a plane. And then let's modify the number of division to let's change them to one. Then let's jump to the top view. Now we must think uh, about uh, how many divisions we need to achieve the shape that we want. I usually start out with zero division because it's easier for me to think about uh, the number that I need. Uh, now for this pillow I think that four divisions on uh, both width and height are enough and then select the plane Press the 3 key on the keyboard to enable the smooth preview mode and uh, go to vertex selection mode. Now let's start shaping out our pillow. I'll take the outer vertices here and with the scale tool I'll scale them outward. Then uh, mm, I'll take the center one and I'll scale them in a little bit okay and let's see maybe I can take this one uh, now nah. okay I think this is okay for our tutorial now, let's select all the faces and then with the smooth preview enabled, let's extrude the, all the faces and I'll give it some thickness, not too much, maybe something like like this okay and then I'll take the center vertex here and push it inward a little bit okay now this is quite good but we add some more details like uh, some uh, wrinkles and stuff like that. Uh, to do that, uh, we can either uh, sculpt, sculpt them inside ZBrush or uh, 3D Coat, or we can um, like apply a normal map, or we can uh, uh, use a deformer inside Maya. For this tutorial, we will stick with Maya, so. I'm going to use the go to the default menu uh, on the top menu here, then go to nonlinear and wave. Before doing that, let's freeze the transformation and delete the history. Add Shift D to delete the history, or you can go to the edit menu, delete by type history. Ok, now go to Deformer, Nonlinear and Wave. Let's hide this. Ok, so... If you never used the Wave Deformer before, I'll give you a brief introduction to it. The Wave Deformer is basically a sin sinusoidal wave uh, that you can use um, to give uh, 
more details to your shapes or to achieve a, um, a wave-like shape. The most important parameters are the amplitude that define how strong the deformer is, then uh, the wavelength, mm, the, the little the number here on the wavelength, the more wave you have. And then another important parameter is the um, max radius because it's changed the affected area of the deformer. I usually set the max radius to englobe everything, um, all the parts of the mesh, but you can do whatever you want. And then I play with the amplitude and wavelength. So let's try something. You can also rotate the deformer if you want, but I think that we can leave it um, like this. Uh, let's see. Obviously, the more divisions you have on your mesh, the more details you will add. And okay, let's see. Okay, something like this. To apply the deformer, simply select the mesh and delete the history. Alt Shift D or Edit Menu, delete by type History. Okay, now let's save it. We want to add this rope here. I'll show you how to do it, but uh, we, wa we won't model the rope on this tutorial because it can take um, quite a bit of time. It's not difficult, but it's quite time consuming. So for uh, this tutorial, I simply use a tube. And now to do this, first of all, let's add an edge on the center of the mesh here. So select uh, one of these edges, like this one. Hold down the control key, hold down the right mouse button, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split. So we added uh, um, an edge uh, on the center. Now, let's create a cylinder. I'll make it with a radius of um, 0 0.01, maybe. Um, yeah, okay. And then let's uh, set the height to something like six or maybe 10 and well, let's say eight and then subdivision eight to 10 for the moment. And then let's select this, uh, um, the edge that we made before, go to modify menu, convert and polygon edges to curve. Now by doing that, we made a NURBS curve that we can use to basically um, put the cylinder uh, in the same place of this curve here. To do this, we select the cylinder, we select the, our curve here, and then we go to deform curve warp. Now, the divisions are not enough on our cylinder, 
that's why we didn't delete the history so let's go back to our polycylinder one in the channel box and uh, let's add more divisions and also let's enable our smooth preview mode let's continue adding more divisions maybe something like 40 um, okay maybe more 50 oh and also yeah we'll take care of this uh, floating vertices later let's add maybe some more 60 I scale the um, curve out a little bit. I think this is good enough. Yeah, okay. And now let's take our cylinder and delete the history, Alt Shift D, and delete the curve. Then let's isolate the selection with, the, with our cylinder selected, Ctrl 1 to isolate the selection. And uh, let's take these vertices. Oh, I see, I see. There are some faces here. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's select all these vertices and uh, go to Edit Mesh Merge. Uh, let's lower the threshold something like 0 0.001 maybe okay and then with the vertices selected hold down the control key to faces to contain faces and delete them okay easy our rope is ready and uh, the last thing that we will do is to actually in, um, apply the smooth on both objects so let's select this one mesh hold down the spacebar to um, open up the menu the hotbox menu mesh and smooth two divisions are enough and select the cylinder, press the G key to repeat the last uh, command that, that, that we did, so the smooth uh, option, the smooth operation, sorry. And I think that two divisions, or maybe one, no, let's say two. Okay. Now, let's also UV this pillow. Let's delete the history. Then go to the UV editing menu. Let's isolate the selection with Ctrl 1. And go to the UV menu on the top here and select camera based so we clear out um, the mess. And let's select the center edge here move the mouse cursor to the to our uv editor hold down the right mouse button cut in view cut and then select the uv shell and control u or go here modify menu and unfold Okay, and then Ctrl L, Ctrl L to lay out our V. 
and as you can see it's a perfect UV mapping without any distortion maybe something here a little bit but it's not noticeable noticeable and uh, let's also UV our cylinder here let's isolate the selection UV editing Um, camera base UV camera base like before and then go to edge selection mode select the one of the inner edges like this one and cut it go to the UV shell selection Ctrl U to unfold or you can go to the modify menu unfold and then um, let's also let me control L to lay out Okay, let's see, I think that we must, yeah, we must place another seam like here and let's cut it, UV shell selection, Maya is lagging, I don't know why, and unfold again. Okay, and then layout. Ctrl L to layout. Okay, so let's jump to the object mode. Go to the workspace menu, Maya Classic, and Ctrl 1 to de isolate the selection. So, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, leave a like, subscribe, maybe comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light.